you can't tell me that this bike compared to all my other ones doesn't look the best it has so many modifications to it welcome back to the channel and if you guys are new here real quick this is my custom super 73 with a 72 volt system this is a kit that you can get from customebike.com but what we're talking about in this video today is this battery right at the top from power lithium or powerful lithium i've been saying power lithium the whole time but it's powerful lithium basically what i was doing was connecting both of these batteries together i want to give you kind of my insight onto how i got it working and all that kind of stuff because it was a little bit of a pain in the ass but let me pull this bike out real quick so you get a better look at it now this is how the bike looks without the cover on it obviously um with 5000 watt rear hub motor in the back if you guys have been following this channel we've been doing a lot to it and i want to do a lot more to it soon we added turn signals i mean we added a bunch of stuff the newest addition is obviously this battery i wanted to just show you guys before i put this cover on so you guys can see exactly how it's working the way it was originally you had these two wires right here connected together and that basically gave you power to the controller and then to the battery but we put a splitter in here because if you get a battery from powerful lithium they use qs8 connector so if you had a battery down here and a battery up here from them they're both going to have the same connector you're still going to need a splitter but you won't have to go to xt90s uh, i would love to get rid of these xt90s like there's really nothing wrong with them but this is basically a better connector so i'd rather have these but anyways i needed this to run both these batteries so 32 amp hour 13 amp hour we're looking at 45 amp hours in total now what they told me on the phone was if this is for example like 80 amp bms and the top is 150 amp bms they both share the load so if my controller is only able to pull 100 amps which that is that's like sabaton 72 100 it only pulls 100 amps so he said it will share the load between them so maybe we're doing 60 amps on the top and then we're doing 40 amps on the bottom so both of these batteries should never heat up that is super super cool but i want to let you guys know that we had an issue connecting to this battery so when i got it if you notice at all the charging port is the same as this this is the charging port and this is the connection that you use to power everything so that's very odd to me i've never had a battery like that normally batteries have this so this is the charging port on the bottom battery and this is where you plug it into the controller but on their batteries that's the charge and discharge so that's kind of cool that they do that but it was very confusing once i got the adapters and everything i needed to go from qs8 to xt90 then down to xt60 because that's what my chargers are over here those are xt60s and i had to get adapters from amazon they were like five bucks for two of them not a huge deal but it took a long time because it still wouldn't charge so i had to call the company they were super super cool about it and we got it working and everything like that so it took about like 30 minutes on the phone we basically just had to reset the bms on the ant bms software that you can get on your iphone and we're good to go both of these batteries are 100 percent charged up so what i want to do is now that you guys can kind of see the setup real quick i'll kind of zoom in a little bit just in case you guys want to see like just i guess a little bit more i know it's a little bit hard I'm trying to get this camera to focus all these extra wires in here are honestly just for the turn signals and stuff like that but um, I really want to get on the road and I want to see if we picked up any acceleration. I want to see if we can hold the top speed for longer. I just want to see how both batteries are going to act. So I want to take it down the street, come back. I want to check the AMP BMS software and I want to see what the voltage is on that. And I want to see what the voltage is on that. I want to see if they're exactly the same. I just want to see if there's any type of difference. When I put this bike up and I spin the back wheel without any load or whatever I think it hits 66 miles per hour I don't know what it hit before so I'm very curious to see what we're gonna do with it and then also I want to see how fast our voltage will drop just by going around the block really quick for maybe like three or four miles so let's get on the way and go all right guys all right so this is the first official ride with both batteries and uh i'm very curious to see what type of range we get so uh this isn't gonna be the actual range test video because i don't have to go very far today i'm gonna do uh 14 miles which uh is a good idea um this is all reset by the way just so you guys know yeah so 0.5 miles i've only went not even a mile yet so that's all reset the top speed is reset 
and we are good to go and let's see what power we're pulling so uh 8500 watts is what i saw and if i'm not mistaken um i believe on the old setup we were pulling about 8000 watts so uh, we probably got an extra four or five hundred watts um, of power not sure if uh, just because of that pool exactly but uh, i've never seen it say 8500 now acceleration seems uh pretty similar um i did go into the settings and i i changed the acceleration um curve and all that kind of stuff and i really need to come in here because i got a big lump in the front i don't know if it's just from sitting or the tire probably needs to be aired up now that i think about it we haven't been on the super 73 in a while and these bikes uh, since they're so modified and go so fast um, and these tires aren't like the best for putting them on the rim so they're kind of uh, un unbalanced already they give a little bit of a shake but anyways what i want to say is i fixed the acceleration curve so it's really hard for me to say like oh yeah we picked up acceleration because changing the milliseconds of how the torque ramps up um that's gonna give us faster acceleration regardless but i'm not seeing any type of uh top speed increase i'm trying to go as fast as i can 51 51 still 51 and my throttle got stuck i thought i fixed that issue already i've been working on this bike every so often and uh i think i just need to get a new one so i thought it was tightened down too much so i loosened it up and still nothing so i don't know we'll have to figure it out one of these days now I need to do a uh, another pull when uh, the cars move out of the way and we got to see what our uh, voltage sag is. Like right now, just kind of cruising. We're at uh, about 79.9, uh, which is basically like 80 volts. And that's just cruising speed. We're doing a uh, 35, so we're not really uh, doing anything crazy. I really want to see what our voltage sag is when we really hit it. And uh, drop a comment if you guys have an idea of what we're gonna end up at when we get back to the house on our range. I'm actually very curious to know. It's saying on a full charge, we were at 84 volts. Now we're down to uh, 81.6. Seemed like it went pretty damn fast if you ask me. We've only done two miles. But um, that first 10% always goes like crazy. It's going up now. It's probably going to go to like 82 volts. But both batteries should definitely be connected. They should both be powered on. And I can always verify it too with um, like when I get back to the house, putting it on the charger, and then I can go through the AMP BMS software and we can see where this battery is at. Oh, yeah. So I was able to get in there. So we're already down... Um, 4.083 per cell and they're all pretty much even it's 0 0.002 volts off that's pretty good it's not bad at all um, but this isn't a big battery uh, i mean yeah 13 more amp hours that's definitely going to add like a lot to it but look at this asshole you gotta love people people are stupid as hell all right back to what i was saying so uh it's not a very big battery 13 amp hours i mean it's decent though i will say i mean it's gonna give an extra punch but overall it's not like a big battery this is like a battery size that would be for uh like a 350 or 500 watt motor but uh obviously it's adding on to our bigger battery pack that we already have so 45 amp hours in total is very good i'm just i'm really curious if we're gonna get a lot of good range out of it now this is kind of my first test to give me an idea if you guys are thinking about doing the same thing you just kind of hit up a uh, powerful lithium and tell them that you want a shark tank battery for your super 73 and uh they'll get on it i think this one uh i don't even it probably took like right under a month but i really can't give you guys a time frame because i don't know uh when you're gonna place your order on how many orders they have at that time but uh they were pretty fast with me so uh so far so good all right, this is the first time that I get to uh, hit it full out and check the voltage sag. Uh, 75 volts. Yeah, 75 volts is what I saw for voltage sag uh, full out. And let's see if we have a higher top speed. I'm curious. Put the visor down. No, so just 50. 
Yeah, we hit 51 for like a brief second earlier, but uh, yeah, no, we're still limited to the same top speed. I think what we're really gonna have to do now is uh, we need to order a Sabaton controller, like a 150 or a 200 amp, and we're really gonna turn this bad boy. Oh, there's 51 popping up for a little bit. So we'll really turn this thing up and uh, we'll get this thing to 60, no problem. So 76 volts the whole time holding it out, it jumped up like one volt because we were pretty much maxed out. We didn't need all that power up top. Not terrible. I forget how comfortable this bike is and how it feels. The extra weight for the battery, I mean, I'm not noticing anything crazy. I thought it was gonna make it feel a little bit more top heavy, but I guess since it's a small battery, it's not that big. It doesn't throw the bike off too much. I think most of the weight is still on the bottom of it. So I'm not having a problem with it whatsoever. But I mean, if we're being real, this isn't a stock Super 73 anymore. This bike is definitely a lot heavier than what it was. I think, what are they like, 80 pounds factory? This one's pretty much probably pushing like I would say like a hundred and something pounds now, like 105, 110. It has to be somewhere around there. But I will say that it's still easy to like maneuver my garage because you have like, you know, the back thing that you can grab onto where the tail lights at. Um, so it's easy to move around the garage. It's not very big at all. It's like very low profile. I like it. It's one of my favorite bikes to ride. Obviously my Suron is my fastest. The Onyx has the most range. And now this one is pretty much an all arounder, like comfortable range looks badass i will say this one does look the the best though like 100 percent. you can't tell me that this bike compared to all my other ones doesn't look the best it has so many modifications to it i love it oh that's a clean ass raptor right there bright as hell though if you were to get pulled over but damn shelby raptor jeez spent some money on that bad boy So it definitely doesn't turn like some of my other bikes. I've been riding the Zeus so much, but uh, it just, it feels nice though. How do I explain it? It's like, it's not a very fast turner. You don't want to like turn too much with these motorcycle tires. It's not a very quick bike to turn. Um, I think I'm just used to the Zeus bike with the little skinny tires now, but it's nice and uh, good for like cruising on the road. I mean, this is pretty much a motorcycle. At the end of the day, it feels like with pedals. Yeah, I love this bike. I love it. Um, drop a comment if you guys think I should go with a powerful lithium battery on the bottom. Because I'm, the thing is, the reason why I'm thinking about doing that is because if I buy the controller, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the 150 to 200 amp Sabaton controller is bigger than the 100, which is I have in here. And that's already a tight fit. If they're the same size, then it should be no problem. But I think they have different like mounting brackets and stuff. Um, I'm thinking about getting a battery from them, but they don't have the battery that goes up and down on the, the enclosure. It actually sits like a square on the bottom. So then you can put the controller and all the wiring on top of the battery. So that would be way easier to do. So that's something that I'm thinking about doing. I don't think I need a 51 amp hour battery in the enclosure plus a 13 amp hour. I think we'll try to stick to uh, like a 30 something. I don't know. Oh, a motorcycle guy. Ew. I want to catch up to him. Go, my go! I want to catch up. Yeah, there's a lot of rocks over here. It's been raining. So, uh sketchy over here but hey we ought to bike that motorcycle tires on it so uh i'm not worried about getting a flat foot oh that bump sucked right there come on we can pass this ram come on bike go 51 miles an hour it doesn't want to go any faster i've noticed some bikes going downhill will actually give you a little bit of extra you know speed but this one doesn't it just kind of holds its uh holds its speed All right, so uh, since we did 6.2 miles, that's a little inaccurate. It's supposed to be uh, 6.8, that's what the Google map says. But uh, we got here on 80 volts. So we went down four volts for almost seven miles. 
I can see what our top speed was today. Uh, 51.9 miles an hour, and I think that was just coming down. Oh, I can't fit already. <laughs> The receiving number? Oh no. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go around. Is that all batteries? Yeah, what? In the middle of there? Uh the battery is from like here to here and down. All the wires are on this side and this is a battery too. Yeah, it has a lot of battery life. I'm hoping to get like 60 miles out of it at like 50 miles an hour. Alright, gotta go this way. So what's going on? All right, so let me verify with turning the bike back on and see what our voltage is at. So 80.4 volts is what it went up to. So yeah, we lost basically uh, four volts coming to work. We'll see how it is at nighttime. All right, nighttime on the Super 73. Um, if you guys notice anything different with the camera, I turned down my ISO. So it's at 1600 instead of 32. 3200 is really good for like very dark areas so um please just drop a comment on the video if you guys like this part of it if it looks better and then i'll start keeping the iso this low um but i think i had some bad problems with the last time oh god i'm not i'm going hella slow so yeah just drop a comment let me know and we'll keep it like this if it's uh if it's good for you guys but if it's too dark then i'll uh, switch it again I'm gone, baby. I'm pretty sure everyone at that light right now is like, holy crap, that thing takes off. <laughs> um, I apologize if you guys maybe can't see the display either. Um, I forgot to turn down the brightness on it. So I think it's still like lit up pretty uh, bright. But uh, I don't know, we'll see how it is with the new GoPro settings. And uh, don't be alarmed if uh, you guys do make a comment and then a few videos after this look the same because by the time this goes up, I'll probably have other stuff recorded. So um, I apologize for that. But yeah, please, as soon as possible, drop a comment on that. And um, leaving work, we were at, oh cool, it's green for me, baby. Um, leaving work, it was 80.7 volts under full throttle. We have a voltage sag of about like 73. And then, uh, when I let off, we're going up to about 79.5-ish. So, uh, I don't know, like, I'm, how can I say? I feel like skeptical of the range I'm gonna get, unless I'm just losing that, like, first, like, 10 or 20% hella fast. I checked the amp BMS and it showed that the cells were going down. They were at 4.087 or something like that, like, each cell. So I was like, okay, like, it looks like they're moving down. Um, because there is a switch on the side of this battery, I honestly don't know if it works. It's kind of like your stock. Uh, actually, no, I think the stock Super 73 battery uses a button that you push and it turns green, then you turn it off with the display. So any aftermarket battery has a uh, flip switch on and off. So it has a line through it or it has a circle. And I don't know what mine is set at. So, I mean, I assume we're using both batteries. Like we have to be using both batteries. I don't think that switch even works. But um, when I first hooked up this battery, oh god, I gotta go with this because that stupid line in the road. I didn't want to catch it and uh, slide out. The lights on the side of the battery, when you touch them, they light up like four or five different colors. Like there's like four green and like one's red. That actually works on this. I don't know if it's fully connected to that battery in there and it's gonna be like correct, but I hit it and it works. But it only worked once we like reset the BMS and everything like that. So. They said they normally don't hook it up. Sometimes they, they can, but aftermarket batteries, it's normally never working. So I don't know yet. This is all kind of new. But seriously though, guys, uh, subscribe to the channel because I really want to do a range test on this thing. I'm just, oh, I'm very skeptical on the range that I'm going to get. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm very, very curious. All I know is I did a ride one day and uh, I came back to the house with a... 26 miles i think i went to my girl's house and i had 50 percent battery left like exactly 50 percent so uh i'm very curious on what we're gonna get and i was kind of like i was in the street but i was also like on the side like kind of in the bike lane so i was kind of doing both i don't know we're both gonna find out together on one of these days when i have a day off but uh one of the next things i'm gonna do if you guys can see my uh jacket that i'm wearing right now 
it's the protective uh, jacket from Beyond Riders. If you guys can see that, it's kind of lit up red on this side and blue on this side because my helmet lights. Um, but they came out with new hoodies and they're going to send us one. So once they send it to us and we get it, we're going to be uh, reviewing it like really quick. It's going to be very, very similar to um, their Ultra Protection, but they said there's a few changes in it and stuff like that. Um, I want to see how the material is. I think I got like an all black one because I had a, I had a red flannel, a blue flannel, and then I had a blue Ultra Protection shirt. Now I just want like a plain black one that I can kind of wear like whenever. I don't actually have to be riding my bike to uh, have it on. So uh, we're going to check that out in one of these videos down the road. So stay tuned with that. I also got two bikes. You know what? When we get back to the house, stay tuned. I'll show you the boxes when we get there. Because I actually have to move them to put this bike in my garage. So that's going to be a nightmare already. I'm going to have to be moving stuff outside. And it's like 11 at night. Hopefully no one comes and robs me. But um, yeah, so we have that. So I'll show you uh, the boxes of the bikes that come. Maybe they have some logos on the side that you guys will see uh, what they are. I actually don't even know what they are. I'm actually working with, I think, five different companies right now. Uh, one of the bikes that's supposed to come, other than the bikes that came today, is the Rumble Motors Apex bike. If you guys have seen that, it has two batteries. It's kind of like an aerial rider. We have that coming, hopefully, at the end of this month. I think it should come at the end of this month because they told me uh, it was shipping in February. I don't know when I got my order in to if I got on the first batch or not. But uh, they hooked me up on that price a little bit just so I can kind of review it. But I still paid almost close to three grand and I got the dual battery set up. So I did get a, a decent cut out of it. But they also just had a sale like, was it last week where the bike was $3,000 for the single battery? I think if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, I got a deal, but not a very good deal once they had that sale. But I still got that bike coming. And what else we got coming? That's all I can really think of, of right now. Um, I want to order a 72 volt battery for the Zeus. And this is my dilemma right now. So I could call Powerful Lithium and I could talk to them, the same people that made the battery that's on this Super 73. I could contact them and they could hook me up uh, with a battery on the Zeus. And I'm pretty sure they might have someone that has a Zeus so they can already like match it up to the Zeus and it could fit like a glove, right? I don't know exactly what I want to run though yet. I don't know if I want to put like a uh, 24 amp hour battery, if we can even fit a 72 volt 24 amp hour battery, or if we're going to be limited to like a 19 amp hour battery. But there are some on Amazon that range anywhere from like 15 amp hours to, I, oh man, was it like 22 or 21? I think it's 21. If you do 60 volt, I can get up to like a 28 or 29 amp hour battery. But I want to kind of go to 72 volt just to kind of make a statement with the Zeus bike in the, in the community and stuff like that, you know? I really want to help people out and kind of uh, guide people in making their bike fast with it kind of looking, uh, you know, as factory as possible. I mean, the, back, the battery bag isn't going to look that, you know, factory, but for the most part, you know, it's still a Zeus bike at the end of the day. And plus, it's kind of like a DIY, you know, like what you can do with the Phase Runner that I ordered for it, which is a cool controller. I do wish it was bigger and had a bigger heat sink on it because even the short rides that I did, it heats up pretty fast. And when it heats up, I don't think it puts out as much power anymore. I was noticing on the Zeus bike, I did maybe five miles and it was pulling like 2200 watts or something. And then over time, it was only doing like 18 and I literally only had like four or five miles on it. So I know it's not the battery itself, but it's probably the controller overheating. We're going to probably have to turn that bike down because it was at 2,500 watts. And I think we're going to have to go down to 2,000 watts because the motor wires in the back were really getting hot. And I'm not trying to burn that motor down. And if anything happens, we'll buy a new uh, like QS203 or 205 motor, something that fits on there. Not exactly sure what we'll make fit yet, but we'll figure something out. And something I just noticed on this bike is um i forgot i put regen on so every time i let off the bike isn't just coasting it starts to actually come into a uh a slowdown and i think i put it at like 10 amps i didn't want anything crazy it was like 10 or 15. but it, it's it's nice it's not really something i like but i was thinking maybe we get you know better range with that too or maybe we're getting even worse range i don't know because i don't have hills around here and if it's just slowing me down when i let off the throttle and i can't coast to like a light or something like that and I have to get on the throttle again, I don't even know if it's worth it. I'm not sure. That is one cool thing about the Cycle Analyst on the Zeus, even though it's a ghetto, like old looking display. 
Um, it doesn't look like anything cool like this. I really wanted to use the controller on the Zeus that had this display on it. It would have used the exact same one. But um, it was just too much work. Way too much work. I really didn't want to wire up the Zeus bike anyway, but I was thinking about keeping it for like a future project because returning it is going to be a pain in the ass. It goes to China and everything like that. I don't know what we're going to do. But uh, hopefully we can get that Zeus running just as fast as this bike, but it's not going to have that torque. It's just going to have the top speed that this bike has. I'm hoping. I feel like we'll be all right on a BMX bike going like 50. Like not every road we're going to be able to do it, but you know, every so often the fact that you can have that power like under there and like go oh, top speed and stuff that's kind of cool i really think though 60 volts is like the sweet spot for it though if i'm being completely honest you can fit a bigger battery in there that's still going to give you probably 40 miles i've already got 37 miles on the zeus which is pretty damn good and you know it's funny after i started looking at the phase runner there's a guy he had a mojave super 73 rx and he put that on it sock motor and he he hit 50 on the stock motor it's like holy shit he did go to a 72 volt battery he just kept the power low and i think it was working i didn't really follow his channel to see if uh the motor burned out because i noticed on his page he's already rocking a big motor on that thing like i am but uh it's cool that he did that and i saw the video after i ordered everything and i was like oh my god it was literally that simple the super 73 if you don't want to change out the motor or anything like that you can do the exact same controller i have on the zeus but um other than talking about the zeus if you guys want to subscribe to the channel please we're going to be doing a range test with this battery and uh the other battery hooked up and i'll be going through the amp bms and we'll be checking out the volts and seeing how it's going and everything like that and kind of getting a feel for it i don't know what it's going to do right now under oh my throttle gets stuck sometimes under load i was at like 71 volts and when i let off it's gonna bounce back to like 77 but uh i don't know i'll have to tell you guys <laughs> It did seem like that first four volts went pretty damn fast though because now we're not even down four volts and I came back and it's colder. And in colder weather, batteries go a lot faster. So yeah, we're just gonna have to see. I'll ride it around one of these days. Maybe I'll stop by Vinny's house and uh, go talk to him. I'm praying to God we can, but don't quote me to that. You know, don't hold me to it. I mean, just because I talked to him the day and he was checking out my videos. Like, yeah, I need to ride this bike. I was like, he needs to ride this bike with this new uh, cane built seat on here. This thing is badass. I love this seat. I wish I had a discount for you, um, but I just don't. They didn't give me a discount. They just wanted me to uh, review the seat and kind of glad they did because this feels like I just put the softest baby suspension on this bike. I mean, it's a dream to ride. This is like the best all around bike I own. And then the Onyx is just for range. Like I said, the Suron is, uh, it's comfortable, but it's not like, I don't know. It's, it looks like a dirt bike. It doesn't look as nice as this thing. All right, so, okay, I see what both bikes are. One's a, uh, how do you say that name? Tronux? Tro... Nex? Tronex? And then this one is from a company called Offroad X50. Now, something I want to mention to you guys, and I like to be honest with everybody, even though it's not the best thing to be honest with you guys because companies don't like it, but this company, I told them I was only going to review it if they sent me 250 plus the bike. And then I get to keep the bike at the end of the day. Because some of these bikes, I just can't get rid of. Let me turn the light on. And it's really hurting me right now because I don't even have the room for these bikes. Like the Super 73 has to go there. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need these bikes gone. Like people are trying to give me $400 for this bike. And this bike's 1500 bucks, and has the extra rack on the back. And it has an alarm system because I work with the company. So it's like probably like close to 1700 and it's brand new, like 25 miles. It's crazy. But anyways, what I was trying to get at is the company hasn't sent me the 250 bucks yet. They said they want to see my review video first, but I would rather get the money first. But I understand where they're, where they're coming from. They haven't worked with me yet. But it's kind of like, you know, I don't want to waste my time doing the review and then they don't send it. But if I do the review, they don't send the money, then you're not even going to see this bike in a video because I definitely want to get paid for it. But it's not a very crazy bike. This one is going to be super nice. This is the Explorer from, a, like I said, is it Tronux? Tronex? Um, this is like a $2,300 bike or something like that. It's going to be a big, beefy bike. Kind of like, I guess, the um, the Aerial Rider Kepler, but it looks nice. It's in blue, and uh, I'm really curious to check that out. But 
stick around for more content and thanks for sticking around to the end you guys are the true mvps like always and peace out guys i'm doing it this way because you guys can't see my face so <laughs> i'll see you guys later